Hey John. Ooh. Uh, hey John. So the other day I was just walking down. This the intro is trash. Ah! He's this guy's always in here, just telling me I'm not good enough. You look like you look like Drake's ugly cousin, Derek. Can't argue with that. I'm not good at a lot of things. Most things, some would say. Here's a list of all the things I'm good at versus all the things I'm bad at. I'm not good at sports. I don't know how to make pottery. I can't juggle. I'd make a terrible doctor. <sighs> just give it to me straight, doc. How is she? Well, if we're being honest, I don't think she's gonna make it. No. <laughs> if we're being really honest, your shoes are whack and you smell really bad. What? Like I could smell you when I walked into this room. Like maybe it's best if she died, so she won't ever have to smell you again. What? And we're gonna have to run a couple more tests to be sure, and it oh, never mind, she's dead. I can't do a good Kanye impression, but I can do a good impression of Obama doing a bad Kanye impression. Uh, now, easy, easy, easy. Just jumped over Jumpman. Uh, Kim, where are you at, honey? No, Michelle, it was just, it, there's no Kim. It was just a video. But even with the things I think I am good at, I always feel like I'm not good enough. Like, there's always that tiny little voice in my head that's like, <laughs> You call that a good grade? You call that being a good friend? You call that a creme brulee? You call that a flashback? If you think I'm bad at this, then why don't you just leave? <laughs> no, I know you're bad. I just need you to know you're bad. <sighs> my problem is, if I'm not amazing at something, I just tell myself, what's the point of even doing it? Like, if I'm not an amazing singer, why sing at all? Why would anyone want to listen to me when they can listen to Adele or uh, Shawn Mendes? Um... <sighs> Crazy Frog? I don't know. The thing is, the only way you can be amazing at something is if you practice. But I don't want to be at that first level where I'm trash at it. I just hate feeling like the most unqualified person in the room. Which is why I feel so uncomfortable in my... Guess which class it is? Guess which class? All of them. It's all of them. I still vividly remember being a small kid in art class. And another kid who was just sitting in front of me, out of nowhere, just turns around and says, Look at this poor helpless fool trying to draw his measly giraffe as I complete my replica of... Cafe Terrace at Night by Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> I wish death upon you and your family. Yes, I hope you die. <laughs> Class, look at this. Let's all laugh. <laughs> in unison. <laughs> that was all probably in my head. What actually probably happened was he just turned around and said, Oh, Nathan, that looks pretty good. And then uh, I started thinking, That looks good. He's lying. He hates it. He's I taunting me. I, I have to kill him before he kills me. I wish I had an answer for this problem of not feeling good enough, but uh, I don't. Uh, it's something I go through every day still. What I'm trying to do right now is just do things. Just do things I love, regardless of how good I am, and just not care. What's that quote? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Shot, shot, um, uh, basketball, not alcohol. And don't, don't drink alcohol and play basketball or you'll miss 100% of the shots you do take. <laughs> See, your life is like rolling. Oh God, he's gonna try making a food metaphor. A burrito. You got all these things you're good at, you know what I'm saying? You got your rice, you got your beans, you got the succulent chicken, the lettuce, the sour cream, the guac. It's the money, right? Eating them separately, you might not have the best chicken in the world or the greatest sour cream you ever tasted. You might not be incredible at this, you might not be amazing at that, but roll them all together to make you, and you got a pretty good burrito. Person. Uh, nailed it. Oh, hey, he's gone. I guess I learned to overcome it. That's what you call that character arc, kids. That's storytelling. That's writing. Get me on a show. That's my time here. I hope you enjoyed that. For more food-based inspirational metaphors, follow me on my YouTube or my Twitter at NathanZ. I just noticed I'm wearing this, but this is very appropriate. Uh, the cowardly dog, the cowardly human.